diabetes is a silent disease. By the time someone is diagnosed with diabetes, on average, they've had it for five to ten years, and one-third to one-half of people already have some degree of complications. Most blood donors uh, are instructed to have at least a snack prior to coming to donate blood. Uh, so if anything, that just further makes it a stronger test because most of the people donating blood will have eaten something. And that means that we may be able to catch a, a very early uh, finding of, of an abnormal blood sugar after their snack. There really haven't been many studies and maybe, maybe only two or three in the world where so many people have been screened. The numbers that we're going to see in the first year of this program far exceed anything that's ever been done in the United States. It looked to me like an opportunity for the blood bank to do a lot of good with very little effort or with even very little resources. It's a chance to show the United States and the rest of the world that the, the little Delmarva Peninsula can be out in front with something like diabetes screening. I had a blood sugar level that could have led to a coma. So if there was any way that I could have prevented that situation from happening, I would have uh, liked to have known about it. I think we're all familiar with the need for blood and, and the reason we should all be giving blood, but if there's a way now that you can give blood and know something more about your health, especially something that could lead uh, to helping prevent a problem down the road, then it's almost a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you do it? This disease is not only an epidemic, but it's a pandemic, and it is running through our community. The health care cost dollars are escalating, complications are escalating, people are having heart attacks at a younger age, cholesterol levels are elevated. I mean, this disease here, we need to get a grip on this disease.